Hi, my name is Lieven Klaasels. I work for ICRISAT in, based in Kenya, Nairobi. Uh, the kind of research we are currently doing is uh, framed within uh, a big project, project called AGMIP. Um, AGMIP is trying to look at different scale levels, um, uh, at impacts of climate change and potential adaptation in agricultural systems uh, around the world. The type of work that I'm mostly involved uh, in is, is the, the regional scale applications and in this case what I mean with the region is in this case a farm population, typically at the district level. So we're using multiple methodologies, data and models to try to look at the potential impacts of, of climate change on the farm population and potential adaptation strategies. Um, in general, it's, yeah, it's, it, it can be quite data intensive. We, we usually make um, use of household surveys to really um, well, get information on, on current farming practices, but, well, and that includes both biophysical and, and socioeconomic uh, aspects of the farming systems. We then also need data to, um, to calibrate and validate all the different kinds of models that we're using for our simulations. So that includes crop growth simulation models, livestock models, and climate models. So, yeah, it can be pretty data intensive. What is, well, to me the most challenging thing is, is, is just um, the uncertainties in, in, in climate scenarios. And also, well, and how these uncertainties play through the different models uh, and, and influence the results. That's a big challenge. And that's also one of the reasons why... Um, yeah, we're still struggling a little bit in, in communicating research results because we're basically not 100% sure about it. Uh, especially in these, in these regional or farm population uh, scale level applications that I'm talking about, we do go out to the farmers and other stakeholders from the beginning just to make sure that, that, that the research we are doing and, and these, these adaptation strategies that, that we're trying to simulate, that they're feasible or that at least the farmers can think about um, yeah, uh, really adopting these, these uh, potential adaptation strategies. So we, we're involving stakeholders from the beginning, it's also an iterative process, so, so we try to go back uh, to the farm community and communicate research results to them. Uh, but of course, uh, what, what I already said, you know, we're still struggling a little bit with, yeah, with the uncertainties and the analysis and, and how to communicate that. But at the end, I think if you yeah, if you really want want impact, I mean, it's the only way it can ever work is you. Yeah, you just <laughs> you shouldn't be sitting behind your computer and uh, without uh, we without a reality check uh, on the ground.